hemostasis. What is hemostasis? It is maintaining blood in clot free fluid state inside intact blood vessel. In addition to that, whenever there is injury to blood vessel, a clot is formed at the site of injury to arrest blood loss. So, when hemostasis is out of balance, it can result in formation of clot inside intact blood vessel. This is known as thrombosis or when there is blood vessel injury, a clot is not formed. This is resulting in bleeding. This is known as hemorrhage. So, thrombosis and hemorrhage are pathological counterparts to normal hemostasis. What happens when there is injury to blood vessel? How does a clot form? First, there is arteriolar vasoconstriction. That is, blood vessels contract at the site of injury to reduce blood flow to the region that is reducing blood loss. But this is only transient. So, this is followed by formation of platelet plug. What is platelet plug? This is injured blood vessel. These are endothelial cells. This is submendothelial collagen exposed at the site of vessel injury. These are von Willebrand factors binding to subendothelial collagen. At the same time, this also binds to von Willebrand factor binds to platelets with the help of platelets glycoprotein 1B receptor. This step where platelet binds to subendothelial collagen with the help of von Willebrand factor is known as platelet adhesion. Following this, there is activation of platelets, release of platelet granules and conformational change in the another type of platelet receptor called glycoprotein 2B3A receptor. These are present on the platelets. This enables fibrinogen to bind to the platelets. At the same time, fibrinogen binds to adjacent platelets joining them together. So, this step where platelets are clumped together with the help of fibrinogen is known as platelet aggregation. So, what is, what is the relevance, clinical relevance? Deficiency of platelet, decrease in the number of platelets called, called thrombocytopenia can result in bleeding. Or deficiency of glycoprotein 1B receptor results in a condition called bernard Sollier syndrome. It is a platelet dysfunction disorder. And deficiency of glycoprotein 2B3A receptor results in Glanzmann thrombosthenia. This is also a platelet dysfunction disorder. And deficiency of von Willebrand factor results in von Willebrand disease. All of these result in bleeding. So a platelet plug looks like this. This is subendothelial collagen. One von Willebrand factor acting as a glue binding platelets to subendothelial collagen. And platelets are clumped together with the help of fibrinogen inside in between. This is known as primary hemostasis, but this is a short-lived rapid response. So, in case of major hemorrhage, this should be platelet plug should be reinforced by fibrin. These are fibrin strands. So, third step is formation of fibrin clot. How is this fibrin formed? 
Here comes our coagulation pathway. That is sequential activation of coagulation clotting factors. Results in formation of a substance called thrombin. And this thrombin converts fibrinogen to fibrin. Traditionally, so this takes place in an aunt phospholipid surface provided by endothelial cells and platelets. And traditionally, coagulation pathway has been classified into intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway. The interesting intrinsic pathway initially factor 12 gets activated in the presence of calicrine and high molecular weight kinogen. And sequentially there is activation of factor 11 and then factor 9 gets activated. Activated factor 9 along with activated factor 8 activates factor 10. On the other hand, in the extrinsic pathway, tissue factor is exposed at the site of vessel injury. It binds to activated factor 7 resulting in tissue factor factor 7 complex. This also activates factor 10. And activated factor 10 in the presence of activated factor 5 activates factor 2. This activated factor 2 is nothing but thrombin and factor 2 is prothrombin. This thrombin converts fibrinogen to fibrin as we discussed already and fibrinogen is nothing but factor 1 and the clot is made stronger by factor 13. It cross-links fibrin resulting in cross-linked fibrin. These interactions take place in the presence of calcium that's why when calcium chelators are added to blood, they prevent blood clotting. So, under the intrinsic pathway, factors involved are 12, 11, 9 and 8. Factor 7 is in the extrinsic pathway. Uncommon to these two pathways are factors 10, 5, 2 and 1. So, when there is deficiency of factors involved in intrinsic pathway, this prolongs APD, the activated partial thromboplastin time. When there is deficiency of factors involved in extrinsic pathway, prothrombin time gets prolonged. So, this classification is mainly for lab testing. But what happens inside the body? What is physiologically relevant is extrinsic pathway. Inside the body, this complex tissue factor, factor 7 complex, directly activates factor 9. So, this strip formation of fibrin clot is secondary hemostasis. This fibrin clot traps WBCs and RBCs as well. So, once the bleeding is controlled, fourth step is fibrinolysis, that is dissolution of clot. As we have seen, these are fibrin strands. These fibrin strands are degraded to fibrin degradation products. These are fibrin degradation products. How does this happen? This is done by a substance called plasmin. Where do you get this plasmin from? From plasminogen with the help of plasminogen activators. Two important plasminogen activators inside the body are urokinase like plasminogen activator and tissue type plasminogen activator. So what is the relevance here? These plasminogen activators since they cause clot lysis they are used clinically to lyse clot in case of thrombosis and D-dimers one of 
the fibrin degradation products. Their elevation is used in diagnosing abnormal thrombotic conditions like DVT, pulmonary embolism or DIC. So in order to balance this clotting, there are three categories of natural anticoagulants. This one is antithrombins, protein C and protein S and tissue factor pathway inhibitor. Deficiency of any of these natural anticoagulants result in thrombosis. Thank you.